Google's fully free AI UX and UI designer agent Stitch just got a massive revamp and honestly, it's the best it has ever been. If you do not know what Stitch is, it's Google's AI powered coding and design agent that is 100% free and lets you create complete UI designs and production ready code from simple text prompts, sketches, or even screenshots. Type what you want and it generates responsive layouts that you can export straight into Figma or to Google's AI Builder, which is another free AI Google tool, or you can simply just download the code locally. And just this week, Google launched a brand new rollout called Shipmas, where every day of this week, the Stitch team is dropping huge features, like a new agent called the Redesign Agent, which takes any image and rebuilds it into clean code, the upgraded Gemini 3.0 Pro powering Stitch under the hood, as well as a redesigned canvas with smarter UI tools and so many other features. There's a lot to unpack, so let's dive straight into it. To start off, we're going to be taking a look at all the shipness updates. And for the first update, Stitch is unlocking the redesign agent. Stitch's redesign agent is something that is powered by the Nano Banana Pro model and it is something that can take a screenshot or a URL and it lets you edit and redesign your product with natural language. This is something that is much powerful because previously the Nano Banana Pro model was integrated within Stitch that could take a screenshot of an app and completely reimagine the interface visually. The output was impressive, but there was a major limitation users weren't able to actually access any of the underlying code. It was just purely a visual redesign. But that changes now because with the new Gemini 3.0 being integrated inside Stitch, they have introduced a full code generation with the combination of the Nano Banana Pro, which means that it redesigns any sort of visual and it converts it directly into clean working HTML. So instead of stopping at the image, the pipeline continues from the screenshot to redesigning to a production ready code snippet, which can then be taken into the AI studio or any other AI coding agent that you wanna work with so that you can iterate on it even further. Markdown scraping is dead. Say hello to the feature Smart DOM Trees. With Retriever AI, your browser becomes a remote controlled API endpoint. Here's the playground in action. You send one JSON payload and get structured results with no messy HTML, no lost page structure. Remote control your browser with a single command. Extract structured data, launch AEO analysis, and scrape walled content locally or in the cloud. We tested the top AI ready scrapers like Firecrawl, which gave us partial data. Then we tried Parallel, failed completely. But with Retriever, we got clean semantic data every time your agent finally sees the page the way humans do. Smart DOM trees preserve page structure, saves cost, reduces latency, and even lets smaller models do heavy lifting. Control local browsers, leverage cloud APIs, and automate JavaScript heavy sites effortlessly. Use the link in the description below and get started in minutes. Install the extension, you can even grab your API key and run your first task for new users get a thousand free credits. Thanks to Retriever AI for sponsoring today's video, where you can get structured data for smarter agents. Stop feeding your AI garbage. So you'll notice this within the Stitch interface, within the chatbot. If you are to change the model to the redesign model, you can simply provide it any sort of visual and you can give it a prompt like replicating it, reimagining the UI and fully coding it out. And you can then have it generated and you can see that thanks to the redesigned agent powered by the Nano Banana model, it was able to replicate the exact same styling of this app. But previously, it would only generate the visual, but now you have it so that it has now generated the actual code, which you can export to the AI studio, to Jules now as well, as well as locally installing the visual as well as the HTML code for it. Moving on to the next update, which is Shipmas Day 2. In this update, it is serving as a palette cleanser before the major features reveal for today's update, which I'll be also introducing. But essentially with Shipmas Day 2, it is something that focuses on speed and workflow efficiency. But essentially with this new command palette, it's designed for power users. So instead of just navigating through menus, actions, you can now have it all triggered instantly through a single shortcut. 
you can use the command or control plus K feature. And from there, you can zoom, adjust, you can even jump directly to specific screens. And virtually any command can be executed through text. The command palette also exposes functionality that previously wasn't accessible through the UI, including the Zen mode which hides the chat interface to create a distraction-free workspace. And in addition to this, Stitch can now support command or control combined with arrow keys to move rapidly between screens. And this will allow for a fast navigation without relying on the mouse. Another new capability that is powered by the Nano Banana Pro is enhanced visual understanding. The system can now analyze a design the way a user would. And this is thanks to the addition of predictive heat maps. It's a feature that runs an instant attention audit on any screen, highlighting where users focus it more and where it's more likely to have clicks landed on that particular web page. It allows designers to validate visual hierarchy, and it is something that will help you understand interaction priorities before writing a single line of code and without waiting for real user data. This is a feature that is available now within the Generate menu. And lastly, moving on to Shipmas Day 3, which is today, which introduces the biggest update, which is lifting previous limits on what can be generated. This is where the new default agent is thinking with Gemini 3.0 Pro, and this agent employs advanced reasoning to analyze and plan designs before generating any code. The community has described the Gemini 3 Pro as too good at front end and unmatched in visual reasoning. It's something that excels at handling complex dashboards, intricate DOM structures, and pixel-perfect CSS more effectively than any previous tool was capable of doing. All generated designs are accompanied by working code, and it can be easily exported directly to your preferred coding agent, even the Google AI build mode. This is something that showcases how great and easy it is nowadays to build almost anything. Alongside that, this update is adding prototypes, which allows multiple screens to be combined into fully functional, clickable user flows. With prototypes, you can create interactive clickable flows across multiple screens within the canvas of Stitch. You can test out animations. You can even test out interactions. You can even request the Stitch agent to edit by selecting elements directly on the screen. And what's great is that you can export the complete context to AI Studio or other coding agents. It is something that is allowing you to build out full on designs, but also having you focus on the next step, which is building out your app. Another small update is that previously you were only able to attach Figma designs, uploading different sorts of wireframes and images, but now you can even attach website URLs and you can re redesign certain websites based off the URL that you provide it. And in this case, the link of Google was provided and you can see that it was able to replicate and redesign it. And say if you want to export this into the AI studio, you can simply click on these three dots and click on export. And you can now have it so that in one single click, you can write in your prompt over here, like uh, code this out. And then you can simply go ahead and click on build with AI studio, which will prompt open Google AI studio. And you can see that it attaches the HTML code file as well as the visual. And you can see that I can now simply click on build and it will fully code out that app for us. If you like this video and would love to support the channel, you can consider donating to my channel through the super thanks option below. Or you can consider joining our private discord where you can access multiple subscriptions to different AI tools for free on a monthly basis, plus daily AI news and exclusive content, plus a lot more. But that's basically it guys for today's video on the new Stitch updates. This is a tool that just keeps on getting better and better. And the fact that you can use these top tier models to help you redesign and prototype apps completely for free is just astonishing to me. I highly, highly, highly recommend that you make the most out of this because I know for a fact that Stitch will be moving to a paid plan in the near future. So it's best to make the most out of it, especially with these top tier models, which gets you incredible designs. But that's basically it, guys. I hope you enjoyed today's video and got some sort of value. I'll leave all these links in the description below. Make sure you go ahead and subscribe to the second channel. Join the newsletter, join the Discord, follow me on Twitter. And lastly, make sure you guys subscribe, turn on the notification bell, like this video, and please take a look at our previous videos because there's a lot of content that you will truly benefit from. But with that thought, guys, have an amazing day. Spread positivity, and I'll see you guys fairly shortly. Peace out, fellas.